Hello there, Adam Bazalgette here, founder of Scratch Golf Academy. Today's subject, how to fade a ball consistently with your irons. We look at a major pitfall that gets people off on the wrong track and how you can fade it, but fade it with power. Briefly, if you're new to the channel, would love it if you'd subscribe, helps us bring you more free content. Also, scratchgolfacademy.com has full, complete courses in every aspect of the game so you can sequentially improve at your own pace. Well, what we don't want to do when you're trying to fade the ball is to start to cut across your body. That's what most players do. If you do that, you're going to lose power because the club never has as much speed from there as it does more from the side of you coming in. So we're looking for a shot that starts more on the body line, maybe a fraction right of it and fades just a bit. The fade is simply when the club face is slightly open to the direction of swing at impact. So let's have a look how we can do that. Briefly as we get started here, a lot of people think if they weaken their grip it helps fade the ball and in a certain sense it does, it's harder to close the club face, but if you're going to be a strong consistent fader, a powerful one, I'd go neutral to even slightly strong. Look at Paul Azinger, Lee Trevino, David Duval, great faders of the ball, all strong grips. So let's say at least neutral, you'll find from that position it is a lot easier to support the club and keep the face open as you go through impact. So first thing I'm going to recommend you do to counteract this tendency people have to cut across it, set an alignment rod which is your intended shot line and set something slightly open which is where I'm going to set up. Sort of picture Lee Trevino how he would set open and come in there this way and we're going to try to hit a fade on a medium scale where the ball starts more on the outside line. Again this counteracts the tendency to cut across it. So let's try it here, take it back more according to the direction I'm in. Yeah, nice little punch finish. I was able to get underneath that one, get just a little slight cut on it. If you're going to do this, regardless of this drill, if you're going to fade the ball, you have to have pretty strong lower body motion through the ball. If you're frozen with your hips, your hands are going to get too active. So remember, as you go through, you've got to have nice lively balance. You've got to feel not only turn with your hips, you have to have a little bit of squeeze and spring. This club's heavy at high speed. If you're going to keep that trail wrist bent, you've got to engage and spring up into your lead hip a little bit. So drill number two, or at least mental picture, now we're starting to go to a fairly neutral alignment. You'll have to be aimed slightly left for the right-handed golfer to accommodate the fade, but fairly neutral. Here's the picture you want to create in your mind. I'm going to recommend a seven hour and a half shot. As you take the club away, let's say just beyond this trail foot, that club face needs to be looking more or less at the ball, not quite, but more or less, and this trail wrist will be flat. You start doing this stuff as so many golfers do, controlled fades become very difficult. Here's the other part of the drill, flat there, but as you come into impact with the help of the lower body, that's when the wrist is bent, that's when the heel is staying ahead of the toe, and as I say, strong lower body motion is going to help you with that. Let's try one. If you can hit little shots on this scale and go from flat to bent, you are on your way to being a controlled fader of the ball. Okay, some closing thoughts I think will help you. A momentary recap. Good balance. Club looking at ball more here. Engage lower body, trail wrist bent, etc. Those are things you don't really want to vary, but here's one of two pieces of advice. Number one, you have to play around with that club face through impact experiment, overdo it, underdo it, do it on a small scale, get a big fade, dial it back. That's how you'll build skill. Don't just try to always hit neutral shots at full speed. So that's number one. Let me hit a shot here and we'll get into number two. Medium. We'll go with it though. Number two, bear in mind with today's equipment on a solid hit in the absence of much wind, even the players on tour that fade it, with maybe the exception of Bubba Watson sometimes, it doesn't move much. It's more of a slight movement and it's more or less a thing where their miss is almost 80% guaranteed to be on the fade side, not the draw side. So you're not looking for a lot of curvature. Hope this helps. Leave a question or comment below. I'll get to as many as I can.